All right, so before I get started with this, I just wanna let you all know that this is in fact a video of a cat giving birth. So if you are not interested in watching things move from the inside of a cat to the outside of a cat, I would recommend maybe not watching this. All right, so now that that disclaimer's out of the way, this is Natia. If you aren't yet familiar with her story, she is a former stray cat that my boyfriend and I rescued in early December. She was very heavily pregnant when we rescued her, and just about two weeks after we brought her home, she gave birth. Well, that's what this video is about. I know a lot of my followers had been interested in seeing the video, so here it is. This happened this past Monday. That's when this all went down. The day started much as any of our days do here in Costa Rica. We got up with the sun, we were up around six, and we began our day as we usually do, which is by snuggling the cat. This here is Jackson, and he was giving Natia a nice sleepy early morning cuddle, when all of a sudden Jackson says, I feel something wet. Jackson, being Jackson, then proceeds to smell the wetness, and says, hmm, this doesn't smell like pee. And that's when we knew. Natia was leaking, which is one of the first signs that a cat is close to her water breaking and thereafter going into labor. And Natia is a wonderfully affectionate cat and naturally wanted to climb in Jackson's lap uh, immediately after beginning to leak. Jackson, understandably, was not terribly keen on the idea, so he graciously moved just a bit out of the way so he could still be close to Natia without having her leak on him. Now, as you can tell from this very interesting and slightly concerned look on Jackson's face, something was amiss. That something was this bubble that you see here that was hanging from our cat's behind. A quick and slightly frantic Google search indicated that this bubble may be indicative of her water about to break, and sure enough, moments later it did indeed break. This is where things started to get kind of gross, but also really kind of interesting. Cats are exceptionally clean creatures, and in being that, can also sometimes be pretty nasty. Uh, but here you can see Natia eating her fluids, uh, make of that what you will which was nice, we didn't have to clean the floor, although we absolutely did, just to, you know, sanitize things. And yeah, following that, she was beginning to exhibit a bit of restlessness. Uh, she would lay down in one place and then move to the somewhere else, move to the couch, move to the other couch. Um, we, on multiple occasions, got up and gave her some space to, just to see if she would prefer we not be there as she went into labor, but it's actually really sweet. Every time we did that, she would promptly get up and follow us and meow at us until we came back and joined her. So we stayed with her. Um, here you can see if you watch her lower abdomen, her contractions are very clearly beginning. So things are, things are happening, getting exciting. These were the first contractions we saw that we were 100% certain were contractions. In the previous week, there had been many occasions which we had been like, oh god, Natia is starting to have contractions, and they were actually just hiccups. Um, but these, we couldn't really mistake for anything other than contractions, for which we were grateful. So there she goes, contract, contract, contract. What is that? It is another bubble. I'm starting to sense a theme here. Anyway, this bubble is the beginning of her first kitten's amniotic sac. So we knew that she was about to push that first one out. And lo and behold, you can see that her contractions are continuing. She's starting to strain a little bit, starting to push. Jackson is providing his bedside support. Delivery futon, I guess it's not quite a delivery room. It is a delivery futon. And she pushes, she pushes, and she gets up, she's rolling around, she does some acrobatics. And there it is, kitten number one, and it is orange. So she does proceed to drag him about a bit, but she, <laughs> you can see that Jackson is trying to make sure that the kitten doesn't go flying. Um, for every kitten that a cat delivers, a placenta will also be delivered, so she has to chew through the umbilical cord uh, and then consume the placenta, which is kind of nasty, but super metal, if you ask me. So she's cleaning him up. Um, we're a little bit concerned by how close he is to the edge, so we're, as you can see, we're putting uh, pillows and cushions 
down just to make sure that nothing goes wrong with a uh, tumbling newborn. Uh, she's continuing to clean him. There's a bit of blood. That's part of it. And here I actually drop my phone to catch the kitten and <laughs> as he begins to tumble off the futon. And then following that she picks him up, absconds with him to the towel over here, and prepares to have her next baby. So it goes kind of quickly before you even know it. There's another kitten there, and this one, at first glance, appears to be something of a carbon copy of Natia herself. Moving, breathing, looking good. She's now trying to wrangle two newborns, which is certainly more than I can do. And she still has to take care of this one's umbilical cord. But they're both moving around quite a bit, which is a great sign. This is probably a good time to say, uh, on the vet's ultrasound, we saw four kittens. They warned us that there, it could possibly be three, it could possibly be more than four, but we definitely saw four, so we were expecting four. Um, the third kitten that Natia delivered was stillborn, unfortunately. I'm not going to show that footage because I don't think it is necessary. We were prepared for this because it is fairly common in cat births. Um, and so we, as soon as we were able to do so, we removed the stillborn kitten so that it wouldn't distract or distress Natia, and we buried it, and Natia proceeded on. So she's three deliveries down. We're expecting one more. You can see the, her, little, her little mini me is already bopping about. Um, they're already starting to nurse, which is excellent. They can't see yet, so finding the nipples can be challenging, but they're doing a great job. We're making sure that Natia has plenty of food. We were advised to give her only wet food instead of wet and dry on the day of her delivery because of the caloric content so that she can get the most bang for her buck in terms of getting nutrients. I imagine that pushing out babies is very hard work. I have never done it myself, but it seems quite challenging. All right, so we've got two beautiful little babies and then she starts to get restless. We see the contractions begin again. Yet, if you see, there they go. You, if you watch, once again, her, her tummy and her lower abdomen, you can see the contractions starting back up as her little ones are squeaking and crawling all over the place. She's so much calmer than I would have been, honestly. Um, and they are starting to come out. And boom. There's our next kitten. This one looked at first like it wasn't moving, and so it was a little bit of a heart-stopping moment for us. But within moments, as she's licking off the amniotic sac and stimulating it with her tongue, it begins moving and breathing. And so we've got our third healthy kitten. So she cleans him off. So this one is also similar to Nitya in terms of coloring. A predominantly white coat, cute little black spot, gray black spot on the head, looking more like the second one than the first. And our little sweet little orange guy. We are constantly replacing the towels, trying to keep things as soft and comfy as possible. And then you can see that she is beginning to deliver this placenta. I can't imagine like nursing infants and giving birth at the exact same time. Look at her, she's got blood on her nose. She's so badass. We're very proud of her. So now we've got three healthy kittens. And at this point, as I had previously mentioned, we had been expecting four and we did have the one stillborn, so we thought that this may well be it. How wrong we were. How very wrong we were. She is cleaning number three. Numbers one and two are nursing or attempting to nurse, putting in a good effort, if nothing else. We are thinking that we now have three beautiful grandbabies, and we are very happy because three out of four for a recently rescued stray, that is pretty darn wonderful and for her to not have any serious complications is also something for which we were grateful. So Jackson has a glove on because um, kittens are still very fragile and we wanted to prevent um, our nails from touching and possibly irritating them or to keep any oils from transferring from our skin to them. So we wanted to be just extra safe and careful, make everyone as comfy as possible. So here are our three beautiful babies. We think we're done, but we are not. 
contractions start up yet again while we're here. Take a moment to appreciate her one gorgeous polka dot and contractions get stronger. Kittens are still nursing away. They don't care about contractions. They need to eat. And believe it or not, it's a kitten. We've got another one. This one is moving quite a bit. We love that. Good, healthy, wriggling little kitty. Um, this one is a different color. More of a cafe au lait uh, kind of tan, similar to the color on top of Natia's head. As he dries off, we begin to see that he has some little white spots too. It's very cute. Natia can actually clean herself properly for the first time in quite a while. She was very, very round. There he is. She's cleaning him up. So we now have four lovely, beautiful, perfect kitties. In addition to Natia, who is also lovely and beautiful and perfect and a kitty. And now we're like, wow, so we already have more than we expected. We think we're really done now. How wrong we were. I was, I personally was quite a bit surprised by how much they were moving. Um, I've never, I've been around young kittens, but I've never witnessed a cat birth in person. And I was pretty impressed by how feisty and determined they were. It was a really great sign. And as you can see, what's that? More contractions. Is that the placenta? Oh yeah, so this isn't a kitten. That is actually the placenta, which she is eating. That is normal for cats to do. Humans do that too. A lot of people have them put into capsule form. Lots of nutrients in there. So she is devouring that right up. She had been doing this for the previous births as well, but um, I hadn't gotten quite as good of a shot as that one. Uh, life is incredible. So where are we? We have four lovely kittens. She just delivered the fourth placenta, well, the fifth technically placenta. She's cleaning, the kittens are beginning to nurse, but she still isn't done. See, she's panting a little bit. Um, that is common for cats when they've exerted themselves a great deal or if they're stressed or for a number of other reasons. I imagine birth is pretty stressful. We were stressed. So um, we were not too concerned about that at this time. She's still being an absolute queen, cleaning her babies as she nurses, as she recovers. They're so cute. They're tiny. They're just, oh, I just love them. I love, 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 love them. We're already just smitten with every single one of them. They're just absolute gems. And there's one, two, three, four. There are four. I have to count them frequently because sometimes I can't tell how many there are. And lo and behold, we are contracting again. We know that this isn't going to be a placenta because she's already delivered the placenta for the last baby. So we're like, could it be? There's another one in there. And guess what? There was. I'm trying to make sure she's hydrated. She's rolling over, flinging the kittens as she does. They are seemingly quite durable. I've actually been surprised by how durable kittens are. So they're all fine, although it definitely made our hearts stop the first few times they went tumbling. You can see the, the uh, cafe au lait colored one and then the sort of similar to Natia one, we call him Scrungus, are having a little wrestle over there. Contractions continue, and what's that? It is yet another kitten. Out it comes. This one we can see is moving immediately, and we are just absolutely thrilled. Look at it go. That one's moving quite a lot. We have high hopes for the feistiness of that one. And she's cleaning him as she has with the others. And he's stirring. This one is kind of an inverse of the Café au lait colored one. This one is white with those lovely tan spots. Once again, look at that flexibility. She has not been able to do that in quite a long time. All right, and so she's navigating these five kittens at this point, including one that has just come out. She has not chewed off the umbilical cord of this one. We remind her several times that he's there just in case she's forgotten. Uh, you imagine it would be quite difficult to keep track of five kittens at all times. But then, not too long after that, she gets him all sorted out. 
up. Yes, you can see in this shot his umbilical cord is still attached. The placenta hasn't yet been delivered, but then it is. She chews him free, cleans this one up nice and well. And before long, our five beautiful kittens are all nursing well. We give them a little assistance when needed in terms of helping guide them towards the nipples. And all are moving well, breathing well, nursing well. And our happy little family has officially expanded quite a lot. And it was quite a day for all parties involved, especially Natia. <laughs>